taking the the pineapple or the piña uh, as, 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 the next, as the next point in our conversation. <laughs> Can you explain a little bit the, the design and the decoration of your, of, your, of your skateboard deck that is just some elements that are important yeah. for you? So there was one element, which is my dog, which yeah. is Nala, and I love her. And I think I'm a really animal person. Like I love animals, even if it's cats, dogs, and everything. So I think that it was an important element. And the other one is a pineapple, which represents my national team. Because, yeah, that concept that I just explained. Yeah. And from other side, uh, I'm a nutritionist and I love eating healthy and having a healthy lifestyle. And cooking is one of my passion, passions. And I love fruit, vegetables, and everything which is related with that. And in the national team, they always say, oh, stop and, you know, just let me eat whatever, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's what I like. And right. that's I choose a. Uh, the pineapple on yeah. the skateboard. Okay, all right. So um, uh, now getting a bit back to your position as a leading player in the national team, and I think even a leading player inter in the international scene. So you are a very popular and, and very respected uh, player. And I just wanted to, to ask you, what to be a female hockey player in in hockey in our sport so just in general because we speak uh often about um equal rights and and, and equality in sports but um i i, I can imagine that the, the the experience of a a female player and a male player can be very different so i would like to uh, to hear your honest feelings positive or negatives about about that well um as my own experience i have learned a lot about that um i think being a female player it's quite difficult in some points uh one thing is the salary so just to be just being a girl means that you will not receive as much money as a boy in general, eh? I remember in Belgium, maybe I had one of the best salaries in the league and it was not even the half of the salary of a boy. Wow. And actually, Berta, it's not that the ho hockey male players have full stadiums or have <laughs> like different kind of uh, exposure than, than women in hockey. So it, No. And we train the same. Even yeah. sometimes I know people that train less than me uh, that are, well, are receiving like maybe four or five times more than me. Yeah, yeah. Just money ways. Then they have apartment, car, right. you know. So that's difficult. And it's not their fault. It's the mentality in general. Yeah. And something that I was really happy about is after the World Cup, that a really a lot of people followed. I received a lot of messages from guys that plays hockey that were saying me, wow, I'm impressed because there was, well, a lot of time that I didn't saw like girls games. And I'm surprised because it's really interesting or it's really uh, fast and, you know, um, nice to watch. And I was really happy about that because I don't know why there's those difference. We are girls, but we do the same. We train maybe sometimes harder. Right. And sometimes you just don't understand why just being a female makes you a lower category. Well, I think, I think Berta, that you could m maybe accept it in other sports where mm -hmm. male sport is so um structure and, and there's like a, a big uh history and you know there's a lot of uh financial revenues there and where female girl the female sport is more and more uh, getting getting 
stronger and more exposed, you could maybe understand that there is some difference in terms of treatment or conditions. Mm -hmm. But actually, you know, okay, that's not the case. You know, that's not that in 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 a club okay match there 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 are thousands of people watching, mm -hmm. and then in a women's game there's nobody watching. So yeah, that that's why I was curious to to know your what's what's the feeling or being in that position yeah also there's some other points that i would you know um, say that they are remarkable like why when you are not at the club i will not say names uh, club names or something but i had experience where for example we had to train every time at the third pitch and just the day that we were training PC, we had to train at the first pitch where we were playing the weekend. So at the end, it was not an advantage to play at our field because at the end, it was like playing in, in an outside field. So, or having to pay our, our coat, our club's coat, uh, and the guys not. So there's a lot of differences. I think every, every time we are getting better at that and equally amazing it's a really good um concept and i really yeah appreciate that um that movement but i think there's a lot of changes that we can still do and i think i talk with you of some projects that i have in mind and that uh i I really think about that all the time because little girls has to have the same possibilities as as little boys and and Berta, uh, just for the record uh, i'm i'm very i'm always very uh enthusiastic and i i love your ideas and, and the projects that we would like to to accomplish uh, mm -hmm. but yeah we need to wait a couple of months maybe for the situation to get back and then i'm sure yeah. uh, a lot of your projects will 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 go further and uh, because what I appreciate on you is that and that's what I tried to say in my introduction is mm -hmm. um, what I appreciate is you is the same thing I appreciate in, in other people such as such as Victor that was my first guest is that uh, you could be just a hockey player and not really caring or thinking about the game or being really involved and I know that you guys have the, the really a big heart for the game and you want to do something, you want to have some impact on that. And I really respect and and I'm inspired uh, by that. So, um, yeah, so, so it, let's see. I, I, it's always difficult, I think, for me as a man to really have the full understanding or feeling about that inequality. And I'm also involved and I support the Equal Amazing uh, campaign. Uh, so, on that, Berta, you think? Do you have some ideas or suggestions, like practical things that you would already, like tomorrow, change or advise that could help the situation in terms of female hockey getting a bit more at the same level as as men? Yeah, I think, for example, one of the best initiatives, I think that Belgium had is, for example, the play of games. There was always um, a men's game and afterwards the girls game and not putting the girls final at 11 o'clock in the morning. Right. And, you know, sometimes these schedule things, they make a lot of difference. You right. know, it's so different, difficult, I, difficult yeah, to play at 11 in the morning where you are playing a final, you know, and you see that some other countries they are putting the girls final at 10 or 11 in the morning and then the girl I, the men's third and first place at 12 or at one and then the final at three or at four where everyone will be there so that's one of the things that i think it could help a bit on that also doing some like signing sessions or um with the brax girls for example we did a lot of clinics with the little girls and they appreciate it a lot and you make those girls to come and to watch your games and to create something uh, like a fanatic thing and they project themselves 
on you and right. you can give them example also training girls they make that there are more and more girls like in argentina in argentina Crazy. when they saw that uh, a star generation then they started to uh be a lot of girls playing hockey and you can see girls playing maybe on the street you know and that's what i would like to see here in spain for example i would like to go to schools and to bring hockey to schools because here in Terrasse we are so lucky because all the kids are playing hockey but yeah. in other communities it's not like that sometimes i go with my stick and they ask me if i have a guitar <laughs> and i say no it's not exactly a guitar you know <laughs> or the golf stick you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so i'm really like like if they follow football or basketball or or cars or something they could follow hockey i think yeah. hockey has a really nice environment really respecting uh, atmosphere and nice values for the kids and if more people know would know the sport it would be so nice to have more and more people starting to play this this sport at least to compare it with other sports and not being always basketball football you know yeah. 